Oh! Journeyman's repair kit. Good. Can we look into these houses or... I guess not. Is there still more? Because the step still hasn't gone away just yet. I'm not in a hurry, so I mean, I don't mind looking around a little bit more. Did we look in these houses? I don't think we've looked at this area yet. Yeah? Have a look around. Hmm. Alright. That area has a ton of stuff though, which is a little bit horrible, but... You know. Gotta protect my sword. Lots of beasts here. If we can avoid them, let's try, but it might be unavoidable. I'm looking for more green. More green. Looks like rain. Yeah, yeah, I noticed. <laughs> no, I guess that's it. That's it. Do we know how many there are? Hmm, not really. Maybe there's some inside the tower itself. Yeah, okay, let, let's just try going in then, because we've looked around a little bit, and I don't quite see it. Dead people, though. Oh. Yeah, let's go, let's go. I don't like this place. It does seem haunted. Fike Isle. Oh my god. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, 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 Kira's favorites. Kira's favorites, no. Goodbye. A little bit cruel, but, you know, we can't... I've grown a little bit scared of them, too, since the last time we, we saw that thing. Hey, it's really dark here. I want to use the lamp and the torch. Can I... Oh. Oh, maybe I could just use the lamp as a light source. How about that? Peasants didn't come here to ask nicely. Yeah, that was the, the first ghost set that we saw, right? The set of ghosts. Ugh. Oh, the cheese is molded. Where's that noble? Lying here, quiet as a mouse. Head split open like a rotted pumpkin. More like a peasant now, sloshing around in his own blood and shite. Be nothing noble about him. Too quick a death they gave him. Should have been made to suffer. He's not the end of it. Sons can suffer for him and the daughter. To the top! Wow. Oh, the people are really angry. Is the Lord still alive right now, or is this like a... Um... What the hell? What? I'm scared! <laughs> Blood. Many must have died here. A ghost wouldn't knock nicely, maybe? Okay, I'm gonna switch to the torch just in case if we have to fight, because we can fight better with a torch. Oh my god. No, don't close. <laughs> oh, ghosts. Oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> What is this? Are these cages? Oh. Rich 
folk. Dow will ever understand them. Keeping rats in cages like rabbits. Let them out, maybe. Like to die of hunger if we leave them there. I'd sooner burn the vermin. Releasing them's not like to bring no good. Imagine the harm they'd do if they swam back to the village. Swam? Rats? How do you figure they'd do that? You needn't fret for them. Clever little bastards. Clever in you. Hmm. They seem sluggish to you. Got the mange, maybe? Oh, and that stench! That's how the plague starts, guys! Oh, look at that! There's a dead rat on the ground here. That's how the plague starts. Don't underestimate rats. Oh dear, oh dear. Place is full of rats. As many dead as alive. Think they're feeding on... Don't Geralt stop. You needn't be so detailed. <laughs> I, for I forgot you were here with me. I thought you were... You were gone. No. Rats, that's right. Don't worry, Kira. I'm I'm killing all the rats. We can't let the plague The glass just break just now or I, I don't even know. Yeah, we'll kill the rats. We won't let the plague spread. I don't like this ghostly light. Don't start, Annabelle. Back to your craft. Always bending my ear about fool peasants. I'll not hear of them again. That simpleton turned your head. But one Graham hardly makes the rest courtly, one and all. My lord, peasants. Oh, Alexander. Shoot, where was the starting point? Don't start, Annabelle. Back to your craft. Always bending my ear about fool peasants. I'll not hear of them again. That simpleton turned your head, but one Graham hardly makes the rest courtly, one and all. Annabelle! My lord, peasants, they're through the door in the tower. Why is Annabelle's name... Mm, I don't like this place. I really, really don't. Kira, did you hear that? Who is Graham? We've heard about that guy in the first, first ghost thing, too. Is that the Lord's Bones? Oh my god. I saw that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah? Did I just turn on? We're not alone here. I don't wanna- I'm- Pretty sure that wasn't on before. There's blood everywhere. Dead people. Oh, is that a window? Oh, is that a ghost? That might be upstairs. Yeah. I'm watching that chair. Is this my punishment for killing the rats? Now everybody is scaring me. The one bad thing about having the torch is that we can't see what's highlighted. But it's okay for now. Assassin's trousers. Gold! Piles of it! Oh, won't do the dead any good now, will it? Strange it is still here. The noble died a time ago. Who's that? Show yourself! Anyone there? Who? Who are you? Oh! The body. The body is still here. And the gold is gone. Don't. No. 
no, 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 no. Who's there? Who's there? Show your assault. Uh, nobody's here. I'm not crazy, right? I saw that chair move. The chair moved. There's a ghost here. This place is haunted for real. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Look at that flame. It's green. The flame is green. Look! <sighs> Beds? Where they slept? Where people slept? I don't know who, but... People were sleeping here. Cause that's what you do in beds! Ah! Where are you? Have you got the laboratory at the top of the tower yet? I'm at the top. Nothing here that looks like a laboratory. Then you've not reached the highest level. Look for a passage. Wait, there's a whole ton of clues. Like, were they on the bottom floors or... Do you hear that? Hmm, someone dragged something across the floor. Or dragged it from one wall to the other, repeatedly. What? Uh. Didn't do anything. Also didn't do anything. Wanna switch it up again? Okay, that's awesome. Great. Okay, before we move on... It's probably not relevant, but I see that like when we do Witcher... Uh... Not anymore, actually. Cause... We saw a whole bunch of like little... Magnifying glasses. Did I miss some clues back here? It's actually all gone now. Not sure what that's about. Okay, then whatever. Whoa! Whoa, that was close. <laughs> what could go wrong? Secret passages, ghosts. Is there something more here? Oh, jeez. Oh jeez. Hmm. Looks like a laboratory. Pretty well equipped too. Hidden. A hidden laboratory. Do they have to close like that? Oh my god. Those look like humans. Experimenting on humans. Never would have gotten away with it if the Conclave were still in charge. A lot of notes on the wall. Is that just the rift? The noise leaking from the rift? The Mage Alexander's Log, Part 1. Day 237. My experiments continue to result, return results I must consider unreliable. Methodological errors are not at fault. The problem lies in the shoddy and fallible research material I am forced to work with. Despite his prior assurance, Bizarad is unable to provide me with enough moderately healthy specimens for my tests. Most of the material is starved and terrified having been dragged here straight from the dungeon. 
I waste a great deal of time daily, washing and delousing them before I would so much as let them step foot in my laboratory. Sterility first. As Marty Sodergren managed to prove in her little-known work, the altitude of a patient undergoing treatment can have a significant impact on the battle against the disease. Unfortunately, the volunteers with which I am supplied do not show sufficient comprehension, let alone enthusiasm for the noble work in which they are taking part. Plague research! Kira's letter, remember? In fact, it seems they consider the research part of their punishment. I have tried a few times, though I am but a poor speaker, to convince them that they are contributing to the eradication of one of the greatest plagues tormenting mankind. I had a distinct impression they understood little, but perhaps their stupor was merely the result of the early stages of the illness. Of course, it is impossible to achieve success without significant sacrifices. The overwhelming majority of them will have to lay down their trifling lives on the altar of learning. But that is a sacrifice I am willing to make. You don't get to decide people's lives, man. You can decide your own life, but these people... Oh, jeez. Why did you leave? You claim to love me. I'm cold. Why has no one come for me? I cannot leave this place. I see no way out. Who are you? Do you seek to hurt me as well? No. Don't be afraid. I want to lift the curse that grips this island. Your turn to tell me who you are. The other ghosts, they couldn't see me. I'm special. Always was. The rare beauty. The Lord's daughter. These lands, as far as the eye can see, were ours. My family and I, we hid in the Mage's Tower to await the war's end, the end of hard times. It was not to be forever. Mage who lived here, who was he? Alexander? I hardly knew him. He spent most of his time locked away in this tower. He's dead too, you know. They're all dead. Mountains of corpses, yet I stand here alone, all alone. They've all abandoned me. Even he who promised me everlasting love. You will abandon me as well. If I can lift the curse, you yourself will be free to leave. Tell me what happened here. Peasants sailed to the island to ask for food. Is that true? No. They came to rob and kill. They thought us rich. Believe we'd stowed ourselves away here to laugh at their misery. Yet we had little food as well. Too little to share with those who came. They slaughtered everyone. I heard my father cry out, but the mage told me not to reveal myself or let anyone in. He gave me a potion. If I was discovered, I was to drink it. He said everything would be all right. It's probably poison. Yeah, because rather than dying, being tortured by peasants, maybe it's easier and faster and more comfortable just killing yourself. But she didn't know it was poison, so maybe that's why she's still here. I don't think she knows. Uh. What kind of potion was it? Remember its smell? What it looked like? I remember only that I feared to drink it. Didn't trust the mage? In the village, they claimed he meddled in disease. Not curing it, but causing it. They said he lured rats into the tower, infected them with the Catriona. Only rumors, surely, but I was afraid. So horribly afraid. And then I heard him. My beloved Graham. He called to me. I opened the door for him, but others rushed in. They lunged at me and... and... Oh, was Graham working with the peasants or was he tricked as well? 
Your beloved failed to save you. Why? There were too many. Leave her be, he shouted. He grabbed at them, tried to stop them. They just laughed. Did they hurt you? They gripped my arms, tore at my dress. I managed to free myself and drink the potion, and then... nothing. Poisoned? That how you died? No. For I later awoke. I was alone, it was dark. Only there were rats. Everywhere. Dozens. Hundreds. And I... couldn't move. Sleeping potion. Effects hadn't worn off yet. Oh. You were paralyzed. They were everywhere. All over me like insects. My face, my hands. I felt them rip open my skin, then crawl into my stomach. They tore me apart, and I could not even scream. Have I not suffered enough? Why can't I leave this place? It probably would have been better if she was given a poison potion, but sleeping? What? Because we know from the bottom of the tower that the peasants were saying, Oh yeah, we're gonna take revenge on the, the Lord's sons and the daughter. So I feel like they probably didn't do such nice things to her. So they came in here, started getting at her, and then she took the potion and she fell asleep. And then like when she woke up, she's just left for dead here with rats eating at her. Oh no, no. Really, a poison potion would have been better. You weren't the last to die on this island. Found a fresh corpse in the tower. The island's a dangerous place. Folks should not venture here. I too wish to leave. The dead man. Looked like a monster had attacked him, recently. The tower home to anything else? How am I to know? There's lots of wraiths here. I, I, I hear them whispering every night. Not talking about ghosts. A monster who hunts here. You must have noticed something. I don't know. I've noticed naught. Why do you ask? Why must you press me so? You're to be my savior, not my tormentor. Just getting agitated. I actually didn't notice a fresh corpse. Did we see that earlier, or...? Oh, maybe it's the guy whose corpse was still downstairs. Can you talk to the island's other specters? No, I'm alone here. The others, they flee when they see me. I know not why. You do not fear me, do you? No. Used to dealing with ghosts. Though, gotta admit, there's something about you. You're... different. She's completely lucid. How can I help you? A curse born of hatred binds me to this place. Only love's power can hope to lift it, but... Who could love a race? Graham. And your beloved, he dead too? Graham? No, he lives. I would know if he died. But he fled, and abandoned me. Left me here all alone. Maybe you could strip the curse of its power by forgiving him. You might cleanse the isle. Your beloved, who is he? A noble son? No, a poor fisherman. My father objected, strongly. He did not see us together. I miss him so. Each night I walk to the island shore to gaze upon the village. Does he remember me still? Hmm. Said before you can't leave the tower. Did I? You must have misheard. I don't think so. I... I don't know anymore. It's all a nightmare to me. Is she lying or is she just confused? Huh. To the shore? That's a pretty long distance. Seems like you can go into a lot of places. As I see it, you're the curse's focus. The other ghosts on the island, their auras aren't nearly as strong as yours. My medallion started pulsating as soon as we started talking. I don't know what you mean, but you do seem to know some things. You could be right. My fate is tied to the isle, I feel that. Perhaps because I am heiress of these lands. It could be your blood ties to the land. The base of the curse, that is. If so, forgiving Graham. 
laying your resentment to rest should lift it. I loved him. I'm prepared to forgive him. But I must know that he regrets what he did. Take my bones to him. He must bury them. This will be our farewell. Will you speak to him? Will you do this for me? Let me have a look around first. Really hope I can help. Need to look around first. Whatever for? Not in the tower, but bones and rats. Don't leave me with them again. I'll come back for you. You can be sure. Very well, but come back soon. Don't keep me waiting. We can just see her walk around here. Oh, she's back to crying. Oh. Alone. All have left me. No, all I wanted to do was look around a little bit more, okay? Just thought there might be more to help you around here. What's this? When will this nightmare end? Is there more? No, this is just... Oh. How are we supposed to find Graham, though? Is he just in the village somewhere? Oh. Kept in there until the end. What a shitty way to die. Oh. Jeez. It's just a bunch of dead people. Not Graham. Probably don't want to walk off here, do we? Okay. Oh god, don't look down. Don't look down. Hmm. Okay. Alone. All have left me. No, no. I'm not leaving you. Oh, that's the potion she took. Nope. That's it. Hmm. When will this nightmare end? Now. You promised not to leave me here. I think normally I would just trust her, but the fact that she was like, Oh, you must have heard me wrong when uh, she said that she couldn't leave the tower, but she could actually leave the tower. That does give me a little bit of pause. I'm not sure if that means I can't trust her though. I feel like that was supposed to be a hint. Let's, let's see where this goes. Really sad story. But something's not right. Got a feeling. What is it? You're not telling me everything. You know the island's dangerous, but refuse to tell me about the monster that lives here. There is no monster. Mm. I think you're lying. Question is, why? To protect the beast? Or is it that... Stop! I will not hear this! I can't help you. Taking anything off this cursed island, from any cursed place, just too dangerous. And a dead woman's bones, that's asking for trouble. They said witches are heartless beasts. Will you bring Graham here then? I so long to say goodbye. Annabelle, listen. You never wish to help me, and here I have someone would finally take pity on me. Stupid woman that I am. Oh, she's the monster. Oh, ooh, she's pesta. What the heck is a pesta? Oh my god. Oh, the rats, the rats. Gotta catch them. We gotta do that mm, trap. Hold up. We also need to be able to see her. Did she leave? Oh, geez. Okay. We can't let her leave. I don't think she was lying about that sad story, but... Oh, that's why she wasn't talking about that monster. No, don't go, you can't... No, 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 no! Oh my god. Where are you going? You can't... 
Uh, I don't know where you want to go. Oh, now she wants a fight. We gotta stay in here. But it's like she knows. She stays outside. You cannot kill me. You know this. <laughs> what was that? It sounded for a moment like you joined the race yourself. Had to fight a pesta. A pester? And did you learn how to lift the curse before you lunged at her, sword in hand? Yeah, we talked a bit. Looks like I need to get her beloved to the island. Fisherman named Graham. I know the man. He lives in Oriton, village on the lakeshore. Find him immediately. We're close to unraveling this. I can feel it. Oh. We still have to bring him here? A pesta. What the heck is a pesta? No. We don't have a pesta here. Oh, I guess we'll read Neckers though. Take heed, gents. There's Neckers under this here bridge. If you all cross at once without slowing or stopping, there's nothing to fear. But if your car throws an axle and you get stuck out there, well, close your eyes and pray to Melitale. A lone Necker is harmless. Five are dangerous. Ten can kill even a veteran monster slayer. Oh, you got that right. Particularly troublesome are the larger, stronger individuals known as warriors, as well as the rare breed of Neckers known as Fucus. Huh. This Graham character, we gotta find him. Um, is the curse still not lifted even though we killed her? Is that the problem here? Oh, we're on this thing here, but uh, what we really want to do is take the boat and go to the nearby village right over there, which means we got to get back to this boat. Okay. Sounds good. This poor woman, though, I don't doubt that her story about her right before she died was a lot, you know, it was accurate and stuff, but um, after she died, she turned into such a horrible cursed beast. Can we jump out here? Rothfiend? Hello? Uh, I am looking for the boat. Where is the boat? Pretty close by. Can we do it without angering the Rothfiend? Maybe? Get in there, Geralt. Geralt! Take the helm! Go! Oh my god! <laughs> Can they swim? Hopefully not. I hope Kira will be okay if I bring this boat back to her. It's just as nice as her previous boat, isn't it? Hmm. It's a cursed place. What is this village called? Oriton? From what we learned from Annabelle, it didn't sound like this guy was involved in the peasants taking revenge on the lords. He was tricked himself too, and he seemed to have actually loved Annabelle as well. So what's he feeling like right now? Pretty crappy that he let her die? I told you, I don't want to see no one. You've got to! Just leave me be! Oh. He definitely is still alive. Nilfgaardian soldiers. I want to talk. You death, damn it! I told you. Who are you? I've been to the island. I know what happened there. What do you want of me? Just want to talk. Want to talk to you about Annabelle. Annabelle, what can you know about her? I met her. Talked to her. Annabelle's dead. Drank poison. And I... I couldn't save her. Did you love her? I... Something mad. Loved her so deep I believed we'd come through. Believed we'd be together. Of course. 
"'Twas not to her father's liking. His daughter and a plain lout. What happened on Fike Isle? You gotta tell me. Twere Millie, Finch and Faulkner. They rallied the men, all roughs, to go to the Isle, take back what was ours from the noble. They knew I was known at the tower, that the Lord's servants would open the gate for me since I sold them fish. Oh. They forced you to go with them? No, I... I saw my chance in it. For Annabelle and me to flee. But... It all spun in a chaos. Our boys from the village, they started killing everyone. Annabelle, they wanted to rape. Twas then she drank the poison. Mage must have gave it her. I ran out the tower hollering that I wanted to die, cursing them all to hell. Don't force me to speak of it. No more, please. This guy didn't even know that she didn't actually die and she woke up later and the rats were eating her. Oh. Ah. The people from your village, I don't think you can call them your boys if they want to rape the girl you were seeing. What? Oh my goodness. Said you were hollering as you fled the tower, the island. What exactly did you say? I don't remember. I wanted them to pay. For what they'd done to her! Might have cursed them. There's a powerful magic aura on Fike Isle. Passions, evil intent, strong emotions of any kind can activate it. Your words could be the curse's source. She took the poison. Because of them. It wasn't poison. Annabelle drank a strong sleeping potion. Mage wanted to protect her, make it look like she was dead. Convinced everyone. But... That means... Is she... You said you spoke to her? Spoke to her ghost. By the time she awoke, Tower was full of cold corpses. And rats. She was warm meat. Rats ate her alive. You mean... She was alive the whole time? But... It can't be. She was cold all through like a corpse. I shook her, begged to open your eyes. I never thought... Kind of like a Witcher twist on Romeo and Juliet, huh? Oh, If only he'd known beforehand. Oh, this sucks. This really sucks for everybody. It's not your fault. No guilt in not knowing. And you couldn't know it wasn't poison she drank. Gods, what have I done? If I had just stayed behind to bury her, I didn't notice she was alive. It might have ended different, ended well. If you'd stayed on the island, I doubt you'd have survived. I'd take death over leaving her to the rats like that. <sighs> but there's naught I can do about it now. Wrong on that count. Annabelle needs you. You can help her. She's still there. In the tower. Can I see her? Yeah. One thing you should know, though. In death, Annabelle turned into a pester. A pester? What's that? More than a restless ghost. A plague maiden. A powerful wraith filled with grief and hatred that drive her. Give her the power to sow disease and death. She suffers. How am I to help her? Gods know I'm willing. Annabelle thinks you abandoned her. Gods! Oh, she hates me. And all this time she's thought I ran, abandoned her. Yes. Go to the tower. Talk to her. Maybe you can convince her that's not how it was. I thought she died. I'd never left her there otherwise. Wait, so right now, what actually created that spell? This guy yelling while he was running out of the tower? Or Annabelle being upset that everybody abandoned her? Maybe a little bit of both? A curse has imprisoned Annabelle and the other spirits on the island. Love can shatter its power, free her, and them. Just as in the legends. If you know the legends, you know one kiss is enough to break an evil spell. On one condition. That it's a kiss from someone whose love is true. I told you. I said I love her with all my heart. Take me to her, please. It's dangerous. There are risks involved. Understand that, don't you? Of course. I'm no coward. I'll not run this time. Oh, a little bit of... A little bit of, um, Romeo and Juliet, a little bit of Sleeping Beauty. 
Nothing. Let's go. I'm ready. Let's go to the tower. Oh, we're back here already. I thought Annabelle is gone though, but I guess maybe not completely? Ugh. Characters... I need to find the key for it, man. <laughs> Annabelle, oh, that's how she used to look. Oh, uh, let's read this one afterwards. What I wanted to read was the best year, actually. I wanted to look up Plague Maiden. I'm pretty sure we got that in the beginning. Oh, a woman covered in scabs and boils. When plague ravages a region, a spirit will sometimes walk its lands, a ghost resembling an ill woman whose flesh rots off her bones and in whose wake crawls a cavalcade of rats. Oh, that matches the description exactly. Hmm, maybe she turned into a plague maiden and not a regular wraith? You know, as regular as wraiths can be? Because there was a whole plague research thing going on inside the tower. Okay, we gotta be careful. Gotta be a little bit careful. We don't know what's gonna happen inside the tower, do we? <sighs> well, we find out now. Should probably be, you know, ready and all. Oh, that is... That is freaking alcohol. I don't want that on my... I don't have any more food. Ooh, I gotta be careful not to drink this thing, because that might be a little bit too nauseating, huh? Whoa! I see we're not welcome already. We wander this place because of you! I've waited long enough for revenge. And now he comes to us on his own. No, don't kill me. Don't be afraid, you'll be fine. Oh god. Nope, still one more. Last I came through here, I still hoped Annabelle and me would... It weren't impossible, we could've been together, and now she's dead. And it's my fault. If only I'd been able to protect her. Can't change the past. But you can still help Annabelle to move on, to rest in peace. It's terrifying here. It's too quiet. Chop, chop. Speed up. Let's get this over with. I remember the screams. Inhuman they were. Now it's silent. They're dead. All dead. Don't think about that. Keep walking. Do you mind if I meditate really quickly? <laughs> Even if you were here, I don't think you would have been able to save her. There's just too many villagers here and... <sighs> everything was against you guys. It wasn't your fault. Sorry, Graham. Made you wait an hour. I suppose we don't really have to go back down there again, do we? Hopefully not. Should be ready, though. Do we have any specter oil, actually? No, we don't have that. Uh, maybe we can make it right now, but I don't really want to... Um, I just meditated. Oils. Oh, I should be making these. I have a lot of ingredients now, but not really... Still nothing for specter oil. Okay, worry about this later on, then. I'm ready. I hope the plague hasn't spread beyond the tower itself and the island. There's so many rats here. I'm okay because witchers are pretty much immune to disease, but Graham... It's probably not good for him to be in here for a prolonged amount of time either. How is this gonna logistically work? He's gonna kiss the ghost? I don't know. Graham! Hurry up. Time's a ticking. Get rid of these rats. Do they actually die? Doesn't seem like it. Oh my god. By the way, earlier we found Alexander's Notes Part 1, but not Part 2. I wonder if I missed it somewhere.
You have not forgotten. You've returned for me. Is... is... is that? Don't you recognize me? It's me, Annabelle. The one you abandoned, remember? Annabelle, I... I was sure you was dead. If I'd known otherwise, I'd never have left you. I'd do anything for you. I would. You know that well. Believe me, I beg you. Prove it. Kiss me. Graham, careful. At last. The curse is lifted, and Graham and Annabella are reunited. In death. Oh. Graham. What a guy. He died for the one he loved. Graham? You could see that I think he really did truly love Annabelle. I'm not sure about the other way around though. Like I'm sure she liked them and stuff, but if you compare the two's love side by side, it felt like Annabelle was a lot more selfish in that regard because she killed her love in becoming- Okay, so what I'm guessing happened is when he kissed her, the curse was lifted and she turned back into a normal human ghost. So she still had to die, but before she died, she got, you know, ghostly relief and whatever. But yeah, like, he was willing to die for his love, but she killed her own love just by, just by kissing him, and she wanted so badly for him to come here and be like, oh, come on, Graham, you you didn't forget me, did you? And all this, just kind of selfish, you know? There's part two. Day 360, 346. I never did like rats. Not because of their obscene tales, but rather on account of their lively, disturbing intelligence. They are always listening when a man believes he is talking only to himself. And what's worse, they seem to understand. I read as rats squeak in the background. A few days ago, I caught myself talking to one of them. To a particularly large black male with a torn off ear. At first, I was overcome by panic. Was this the first manifestation of the illness? Of course, that was impossible for I had fortified my immunity with powerful spells. Upon further consideration, I concluded it was an altogether natural reflex, one even the most learned among us find hard to restrain. We mages like to be listened to. I placed the black rat in a separate cage. The time will come for it to play a part in the tests. Meanwhile, it can keep me company and observe. I've noticed it looks with great concentration at the cages of its infected brethren, particularly those in the last stages of illness. Fascinating. Speaking of company, I have none, besides the black rat, and cannot hope for better. Vizerad avoids the laboratory, and has expressed his desire for his daughter to steer clear of me as well. At first, I thought he feared a moral scandal, which would be risible in the extreme, but he explained the true reason in due course. It seems Annabelle has always possessed a fragile physic, psychic constitution. Observing the ill might throw her into foul humors. The peasants taking part in the study have stopped talking to me. I don't know what they believe this little act of defiance will serve. It does me no harm. They made for lousy conversation partners. There remains, of course, the woman. But as for her, I try to limit my contact. The woman. 
Day 362, almost a full year. My black rat has died. Today I found him curled up in his cage. I suspected he had become infected on accident. But during the autopsy, I did not uncover any signs of illness. He was also perfectly well fed. Strange. From a medical point of view, his death remains unexplained. Something which, I must admit, irritates the scholar in me. But as mentioned previously, I'm not particularly fond of rats. Oh, that is strange. Quite eerie, isn't it? Did the rat die of heartbreak? <sighs> that would be much like Graham then, huh? Graham's dead now, but I, I think he would be happy that he could help out Annabelle, even in his last moments in some way. Well, if we've resolved the issue, I guess it's time to get out of here then. I think we've seen most of the island. Oh, rats. Do they even die? Only one died in that Igni wave. They don't always die. Hmm. Maybe it was for the best that Graham didn't leave in terms of spreading the plague. I doubt normal humans would be able to withstand that. So I think we finished looking at the majority of the island, but there was that one thing at the very the very edge when we first came in here. Which I think we're gonna go back to now. If I can find the exit to this place. Oh, here. And that's it. It's dreary. A dreary midnight. Yet, the monsters won't sleep. No, they won't. Oh, that's fast traveling, but I think it's okay if we just take the boat back to Kira. Because the thing I want to look at is the little hole in that ritual ground place over here. More bees. Oh, what the? Oh, I ran. I desperately need some food, so if you could contribute to my my food bank, that would be great. Over here. Oh, I can't jump in the swamps, can I? Careful, careful. Good thing these guys don't explode at least. I think I need to buy some food. Because my food resources, my reserves are just going down and I I need food. <laughs> there we go. Ew, I got their ear. But why? <laughs> nope. Okay. The... yeah, the little ritual thing back here. Maybe there was another island here before? But I was just wondering what this was. Oh. Somebody's grave. Salmian Brigid Brigandine? Oh, this might have been a crypt. Cause this island belongs to that lord, right? So maybe it's their family crypt here. And I just looted it! <laughs> As per usual, it's not really anything new anyway. Oh, by the way, we got one extra ability point from that. If we could assign that... One point? One point? I could just go for strength training, but I wonder if there might be other things I'm overlooking here. Alchemy! Ooh, oil can poison people. Time is slowed when aiming bombs. Every known level 1 alchemy formula increases maximum toxicity. Eh, I feel like alchemy is not really something I'm interested in, just looking at the first row here. But I'm not sure about the bottom parts. Okay. Is there anything that makes me a little bit tankier, I wonder? Aside from, like, vitality plus 500? Because that doesn't scale well. The higher we level up, the, the more that 500 is going to become meaningless. 
Ard. Um, I guess we can increase Igni, huh? Next level. Permanently increase permanently weakens enemy armor. Eh. Stamina regeneration in battle goes up. That would be good. Oh, I'm in battle right now. I can't. Okay. Oh, hello. I didn't even see you. Oh, oh. Oh, that was a close one. Okay. So, ooh. Hmm. I guess since we're here anyway. Hold up. Yeah, we can ignore that guy, okay? Just ignore him. Ignore him and get into the boat. But what I was gonna do is I'm gonna wait for my swallow potion first. Okay. And now I will go into character and upgrade my Igni. Igni. Oh, yeah, that's right. I also have Delusion here. Quen Shield pushes opponents back when it breaks. That would be nice, too. Maybe I should be using Quen a little bit more, because I don't really use it all that much. But hey, for now, this is fine. And we also have that potion to reassign points, so this is not a great problem. And why did that get unassigned? Uh, what are you here? We really should be investing into more of red stuff, though. If we want to take maximum advantage of this thing here. Let's go to alchemy. Make all those oils that we can, but we never made. Dimeridium bomb. Oh, we can make all these bombs too, heck yeah. Just make all of them. Still can't make grape shot, are you kidding me? Elementa oil. Oh, enhanced beast oil. Oh, what am I missing? Bison grass. Okay, so I'm guessing a regular oil gives 10%, but an enhanced oil gives 25%. Interesting. Superior beast oil. 50%! Oh my god! But that's really, you know, the ingredients are probably a little bit hard to come by. Bison grass, again. Cockatrice stomach? Oh, we need an enhanced beast oil. We can't skip it. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just make whatever we can. Because why not? I hope these don't really weigh too much. <laughs> Golden Oriole. Oh, grants immunity to poisons. Neutralizes the effects of poisons already in the bloodstream. I think this one would make it so that I can run through the gases and not get hurt. Definitely one I really need. And for now, I think that might be... That might be it. And it's back to collecting... Oh, we can make these ones. Mutagens? Mutagens? I know we need this for the the oil, but I don't even have enough ingredients for it right now. White gold. Okay. Okay, I'll keep it in mind, but right now we can't... Ah! Ah! The number tells me how many I can make. All parts present. Can I... Can I filter this or... Yeah, like that. I can do that. Plus 7% sign intensity. Oh! Three lesser blue mutagens makes one normal blue mutagen. Vitality plus 100. Okay, interesting. I guess I'll make it anyway, just to, you know, strike it off the list. Cool. Okay, and we will set the filter back to parts missing. And we are gonna meditate to get my little bit of swallow potion back. No? Oh, the raw fiend is right next to me. We can make potions when the rock fiend is near us, but not meditate. Okay. Hurry. Hurry up. Geralt. Oh, why can't I? <laughs> I can't get back. Is the helm the wrong way or? Here we go. All right, let's go. Oh, the front is still broken. It's the same boat. I thought they might have spawned in a different one by now, but nope. Nope. And we'll be back with Kira in no time. Oh, one thing that I should have done was explore Oriton a little bit more. But I guess we can go back to that as soon as we've told Kira that the curse is all right now. Oh, 